What's going on gamers? Today we are going over how to add plugins to a Rust server. A large part of owning a Rust server is adding plugins to personalize your gameplay experience. You can use these plugins for moderation, chat managers, and even whitelists, which is a great way to make sure that your server stays private. And of course, these are things that you can't get on a vanilla server. With Oxide's plugins, your server is bound to be one of the best, and setting these plugins up is super easy. Today, I'm going to show you just how simple it is to get it done. Let's get started. Log in to your Apex server panel and stop your server. Scroll down to the Enable UMod support and make sure that that box is checkmarked. And then press Save at the bottom and restart the server to load the files to use the Oxide plugin loader. Next, head into the UMod plugins website for Rust. It'll be linked in the description below. Use the search bar or scroll around to find the plugin that you would like to use. Today, I'll be using this Vanish plugin. Once you find the one you would like, click into it and on the next page, press the download button at the top right. Save this plugin in an accessible location for later. Head back into your Apex server panel. Click on FTP file access on the left hand side and then log in on the next page. Next, go to the Oxide folder and then the Plugins folder. From here, press Upload in the top left and then drag and drop your plugin files into the right side. Once all of your files are uploaded, you can return to the main panel page. A majority of these plugins will load automatically, but I recommend restarting the server to make sure that they all load completely. Configuring a plugin is also really easy. Most plugin pages will provide detailed information on each setting in case you become confused by what something means. Go back into the FTP file access on the left hand side and then log in on the next page. Head back into the Oxide folder and then the config folder. Find your desired config file and then press edit to the far right. For example, if you want to change a command from true to false, you can do that here. Once the changes have been made, press save and head back to the main panel page and restart the server one more time. Adding and customizing plugins on your Rust server is a great way to set your server apart from the rest. You can try things like teleportation, pulling in kits, and changing the building time, and that's just a few of the wonderful ways to utilize all of your plugin options. Almost anything is possible, and there are over 1,000 Rust plugins available so make sure to take a scroll through the Oxide page to see just how many plugins interest you. That's all for today, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.